Since its invasion of Ukraine two years ago, Russia has threatened to deploy nuclear weapons against Europe. It has promised new game-changing armaments, including a hypersonic missile, that are ready for strike. Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to tell you Putin's secret explosive air defense system is ready to take down NATO. In mid-February 2024, a U.S. congressman reported the supposedly stunning discovery that Russia had a space-based nuclear bomb ready to attack its adversaries, primarily NATO, Europe, and the United States. Under Vladimir Putin, Russia has become a nuclear outlaw, using doomsday threats to promote military expansion of its empire and influence in Ukraine, the Arctic, and elsewhere. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe, so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Why has Russia indicated that it may use its nuclear arsenal? One motivation could be to impede NATO actions to safeguard Ukraine, as the danger of nuclear weapons has prevented NATO forces from being stationed there. In contrast, the Russian invasion resulted in NATO's continuous expansion. Another explanation is that Russia may really feel endangered, particularly given the country's growing military and economic isolation from the West and the necessity to shift to the East, toward China and North Korea. Russia is chasing the nuclear grandeur of the Soviet era in both civilian and military context. In the civilian arena, this includes domestic and international attempts to speed power station building, such as domestic floating reactors and reactor sales to India, Iran, Turkey, and other countries. In the military, Russia is pursuing nuclear modernization, including the development of new weapons. It has expanded and reopened Arctic military outposts, outfitting them with bombers, planes, and advanced radar systems. These technologies necessitate substantial support facilities that provide access to fuels, lubricants, and other hazardous materials, as well as weapons-grade nuclear fuel. One new weapon planned for the arsenal is the Poseidon Nuclear Arm Torpedo, which is fueled by a nuclear reactor and is designed to create radioactive waves that render a target shoreline uninhabitable for decades. The Russian Navy has stated plans to purchase 20 Poseidons. However, none have yet been delivered or are in service. Nuclearization of the Russian Arctic carries significant hazards, as evidenced by a fatal nuclear accident involving the Uburevisnik's cruise missile in August 2019 at the Navy testing range at Nanoxa on the White Sea, when the isotope power source for a liquid-fueled rocket engine exploded. According to reports, seven people died. Hospital staff were unprepared to deal with the radiation risk, and some medical professionals and victims were transferred to Moscow for radiation testing. Medical staff were compelled to sign non-disclosure agreements. Just before ordering the invasion of Ukraine, Putin directed the Defense Ministry and Rosatom to continue preparing Russian nuclear weapons for possible tests, with those for the Blarevestniks relocated to the Novaya Zemlya nuclear test site which had significant radioactive contamination from Cold War weapons tests and the dumping of waste and reactors off its shores. The renewed presence of military detachments, nuclear weapons, nuclear icebreakers, and nuclear reactors in the Arctic will make the Russian Arctic the most nuclearized waters on the planet by 2035. Russian nuclear weapons are now being launched into space. These have been at the center of military dreams and anxieties since the Cold War's inception, despite the fact that the Outer Space Treaty of 1966 prohibits them. An electromagnetic pulse weapon being developed in Russia would use a nuclear detonation to send an electromagnetic pulse through the atmosphere, indiscriminately affecting every military, communications, or weather satellite. The U.S. tested it in space in 1962. For the fight in Ukraine, an EMP weapon might damage Starlink or US military satellites. As far as can be ascertained, Russia's EMP weapons are years away from being deployed and are unlikely to be employed because they would destroy Russia's satellites. In any case, deployment would constitute a violation of yet another international arms control convention by Russia. In recent decades, Russia has abandoned or ignored the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. New START, the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, Open Skies, and, it appears, Outer Space. With some validity, 
Russia maintains that its space weapons programs are similar to those of the United States and are for self-defense. Under George W. Bush, the United States exited the 1972 ABM Treaty in 2001 to pursue the Strategic Defense Initiative, sometimes known as a Star Wars, which sparked a new arms race. Space-based reactors, known as Star Wars when first proposed by President Ronald Reagan in the 1980s, would employ power lasers to target Soviet ICBMs and build a space shield. ST space weapons technology is still being developed, but in restricted form and with mediocre but costly success. Recognizing the outcry over the disclosure of nuclear weapons development in space, Putin has frequently stated that Russia's stance is absolutely clear and transparent. We have always been, and remain, categorically opposed to the deployment of nuclear weapons in space. Putin's claim could be another attempt to obscure the Kremlin's true military ambitions while pursuing nuclear modernization in battles with its immediate neighbors. It has a large program of space-based reactors that could be utilized for both peaceful and military objectives. In any case, deployment of space weapons is not expected for years because the technology is unproven, and if it does occur, it will expose the cynical behavior of a frail former superpower that finds salvation in nuclear saber-mongering. Russia's actions as a nuclear outlaw are considerably more visible in the fight in Ukraine. Russia has ignored its obligations under international treaties governing civilian nuclear power and has converted nuclear power plants into weapons of war. Tatiana Kaspersky states in a forthcoming report that Russia has broken all international nuclear safety guarantees, including those established by the International Atomic Energy Agency. First, in early March 2022, its troops entered the Chernobyl exclusion zone, interfering with the work of local professionals, taking critical instrumentation and increasing radiation. Russian military then captured the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, the ZNP, which has six pressurized water reactors, is the largest of its kind in Europe. The occupying troops destroyed buildings on the site and put highly radioactive spent nuclear fuel in storage ponds and dry casks at risk of a radiological disaster, in part by blowing up the Kakovka hydropower station and reservoir on the river Dnipro, on which the station relies for cooling water. Russia eventually annexed the land, declaring the ZMP its property. During the months that followed, the ZMP was repeatedly shelled, causing additional damage and disrupting the station's and Ukraine's power supply. The four power lines connecting the MPT to the grid have been damaged, forcing the station's PUZs and large CENF storage to rely on diesel generators, which, if they fail, could result in a loss of coolant. Similar to the accident at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in March 2011, the military force occupying the ZMP, which is equipped with heavy machinery such as cannons and vehicles for transporting weapons, ammunition, explosives, and troops, reports directly to Putin. Russia has set up gun positions near the plant that move around to evade attacks while exploiting their proximity to the MP as a deterrent. As a result, the Russian military has successfully converted a nuclear power facility into a nuclear launch pad. Given Russia's deceitful behavior in nuclear weapons development and treaties, it will be important for Western intelligence services to closely watch such actions. On the other side, there are various reasons not to overreact to reports of a Russian technological breakthrough in space, hypersonic or other weapons. First, the military sector has failed to deliver during the last quarter century under Putin due to widespread corruption, which inhibits its ability to innovate. Old infrastructure, shell businesses that siphon cash, and significant bribes prevent modernization. Russia cannot furnish soldiers with socks or blankets, let alone body armor. Perhaps 20 of defense expenditure goes to contractors and military leaders. Claims of nuclear preparedness and sophisticated weaponry give cover for a force that has continually failed to perform, particularly one that, two years ago, confidently anticipated to sweep into Kyiv and defeat Ukraine quickly. After the Cold War, Russia's military became a Potemkin power. Putin insists that Russia be recognized for its space program and nuclear weapons, while the Ukrainian military has done poorly. Ukrainian surface-to-air missiles are beyond the Army's capabilities. Ukrainian drones mock Russian invaders and their tanks. Russia has depleted its cruise missiles.
and both short and medium-range ballistic missiles has resorted to dumb, unguided munitions that cause massive civilian casualties, but are 20th century relics for NATO and the US and must now rely on North Korea for weaponry. Its Air Force continues to lose fighter and combat aircraft, including two Sukhoi squadrons. In 2018, Putin said that Avangard's hypersonic missile was invincible, comparing it to a meteorite in Ayate air ball. It has only been deployed in battle a few times, with little impact, and its designer was jailed for treason for discussing it publicly. The arrest was not a unique instance, and it will reduce appetite for risk-taking within the military-industrial complex. As in the Stalin era, Putin's secret police, the FSB, is charging scientists with treason in order to silence them, destroying the scientific autonomy required to pursue technological advancements. In the face of military failure in Ukraine and growing isolation abroad, Putin has resorted to the old narratives, blaming internal foes and threatening the West, increasingly with nuclear weapons. Russian officials have regularly threatened a nuclear attack if an arbitrary red lines is crossed. Last Monday, former President Dmitry Medvedev warned London, Berlin, Paris, and Washington that Russia was ready to launch attacks on those cities. To emphasize that Russia has studied doomsday scenarios, Putin recently boarded a modernized Tu-160M, a Soviet-era supersonic strategic bomber, symbolizing how Russian nuclear doctrine has devolved into mere intimidation language. That's all for today's video. Power stations have been converted into weapons of war. International treaties have been violated in an unlawful manner. Russia, one of the original nuclear powers, has become a nuclear outlaw. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.